So as you see here, I've got an AutoCAD sketch. And what I want to do is I want to take this information and I want to tr uh, basically translate it over into Inventor. Now I could go through the import process, um, but as you can see here, I've already got it open. So I've just deleted the hatch pattern because I, I don't want to bring the hatch across. The rest of the geometry I'm good with. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a window here and I'm going to right click, go to my clipboard here, and I'm going to do a copy. So I've now copied that to the clipboard. I'm going to go into my Inventor part here that I've started. I'm going to create a new sketch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that geometry in there. So I'm just going to do a right click um, in here, right click paste. And I've now pasted that geometry in there. Just give it a second to think about it. Okay, so I've now brought that geometry across and we can see that it's applied coincident constraints. But if I pick it here, what I can see is really no other, no other constraints have been added. So, you know, when you're doing the import process, there's actually an option to apply constraints, but when you do the copy and paste, it just doesn't happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm actually going to run an auto dimension. Now the auto dimension, you might be thinking, well, wait a minute, auto dimension never works for me. I mean, it throws dimensions wherever it wants and it's, it's never what I want. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to disable dimensions at this point. And at this point, I'm going to now apply them. And what it's going to go th through here, and you can see that it made some assumptions here. So you can see it applied a bunch of parallels and a bunch of um, horizontals and verticals and a bunch of tangents and basically half my constraints in half. We can also see it did a bunch of uh, constraints here because of my center line. Um, what I might want to do is let's just remove that. Let's just actually back this up here. Let's back this up before I apply that. And what I might want to do is I actually want, might want to delete that and apply this differently because if I'm going to end up revolving this, I might want this line in there like that. So we'll run the auto dimension again and we'll apply just the constraints and we can see that it's basically half that into 23 dimensions required. So constraints left. So again, now notice that when I pick this, notice that it's got the parallel and um, the constraints. Now this auto dimension um, trick or tip, however you want to look at it, it's not limited to just when you're importing geometry. Um, there's plenty of opportunities, you know, when you're when you're missing one or two constraints, you're not quite sure where they are, you can just run auto dimension and let it kind of figure out what's going on. Another kind of great tool to kind of see, you know, where am I missing things is that there's actually a built-in degrees of freedom. And degrees of freedom shows you everywhere where the constraints are uh, missing, you know, where this thing is actually free to move. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to just for for sake of showing what's going on here, I'm actually going to apply a fixed constraint in the corner there and notice how it, it, it greatly removed the degrees of freedom. So what I can see here is that notice that this is actually free to stretch in that direction. Well, what if I came in here and I applied a dimension? So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to apply a dimension here and make this 1.25. And again, notice how the, the amount of degrees of freedom have moved. So obviously in this case, how this was um, dimensioned or are actually drawn in AutoCAD. This doesn't actually intersect with that point. Um, so I just applied a, a coincident constraint. So we can see here that as I'm applying dimensions, um, we can see that you know the the amount of, of red symbols on the screen here is is quickly um, dissipating um, as it applies that information. So another kind of neat little tool there just to help you figure out where things are.